In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best build slash loadout to use on Misfortune. All right, guys, we're here at my loadout. Let's first break down the items you want to be using. So first item you'll be getting is Blade of the Rune King. Then you're going to get Mortar Reminder with Stasis, Infinity Edge, Guardian's Angel, Rapid Fire Cannon. This is a very strong build because not only do you get a power spike in the beginning of the game with the Blade of the Rune King, but this entire build is made so Misfortune can still be good in the late game without falling falling uh, back in damage towards that later stage of the game now for the runes you want to be using conqueror brutal spirit walker and mastermind now the reason why you wouldn't use sweet tooth is because Mis misfortune is really strong in the early game so you don't really need that extra healing from your from from sweet tooth by getting the honeycomb so this will allow you to get you know turrets a lot quicker and get that extra gold now for the spells you want to use heal and flash but obviously if your support is using heal you want to run barrier now this is the best loadout you want to be using on misfortune and all of your ranked games and i ended up using it and did really well so before we get on into that make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more guide videos just like this but without further ado let's get right on into it playing some misfortune i'm actually against an interesting adc combo ali star and corky and they have a lulu mid i guess which i have no idea what's going on there but you know it is what it is and i have seraphine support i'm pretty sure i win this lane i guess they're hoping o olaf a uh, clear jungle so I'm just going to rush to get level 2, you know, and get better positioning. Boom, we get that extra pokage, and boom, the honeycomb is gone. So I'm running Mastermind, so honestly, me getting my honeycomb, it literally doesn't give me any gold or anything, so I'm just chilling. But now it's good. Whatever damage they take is permanent. That is so critical. Honestly, Corky can farm pretty safe. Pretty, pretty freaking safe, so we're just going to be doing chip damage. Okay, that was... Oh, oh, this guy, you should have not engaged, bud. I have heal still. Okay, I won't be able to land that in any sort of way. I'm healing. Nice. Can we get another one? Boom! Oh my god, me and the Seraphine are freaking legends. Oh my god, we're freaking legends, dude. That kind of got sketchy. That kind of got sketchy, man. Alright, good start. I actually really like that start. I'm going to be up a thousand gold, basically. So, with this build, guys, it's super good late game compared to a traditional MF build. So, you will be good not only early game because of the power spike you get by getting blade of the rune king but this entire build is just good for late game so misfortune won't fall off too hard i'm overextended here now i'm gonna put some damage down as you can see that extra damage goes crazy okay i'm gonna just be focusing quirky but i think i actually might die here yeah i couldn't get my heal off my heal wasn't up yet that was actually really bad that should have been a free kill but seraphine is just not in in my lane early enough but I should have been I should have played more safer right there and waited for my heal. Okay, I have Blade of the Rune King now. Corky's gonna come back a little bit off that, but he didn't get any of the kills, so that's good at least. Yasuo's I think doing really good against this Kennen. Okay. Oh, they're actually on dragon. They cannot be doing dragon. You gotta die, man. I'm gonna die from eating up all this upfront damage. You're dead. No way. Oh my god. Okay, we lived. I'm gonna recall. I don't think we can stay and do this. They're gonna get another kill right there. Boom, that's super good. And our freaking top wave is pushing. I mean, they could still start it, but we definitely had to recall because they're going to refight us, and it would be super bad if we're low. They're just going to get a bunch of free kills. And I already gave a free kill this game, so I don't want to give any more. Yeah, nice. Okay, see, Kenna would... Like, we would have been so low. See, Kenna's just killing himself here. Oh, and so is Corky. Oh my god, Corky's going to live. Nice! I'm just a beast. Never mind. I'm just a freaking beast. Alright, this is turret damage time. Oh god. Oh god. Yasuo, are you gonna do anything crazy? Oh 
No way, bro. No way they lived like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my honeycomb. Wow, that is... I mean, Yasuo should have just left. I don't know why he was saying. Like, I just want to put freaking turret damage down, man. That's literally it. Honestly, I should have froze the wave right there. He would have lost a lot of gold. Boom. Got the recall off. All right. Uh, Mortal Reminder second will be really good into Alistar and Olaf. So this is, this is going to be a super, super good game for this build. Super good game. They should, guys, do not try to push this. What are you going to do? Yep, Alistar is going to engage. Then I just land a rocket. Nice. He's so, he's so low. Okay, boom. Let's go. Let's go. I'm kind of low, though. But all of them are down there. And nice. Alistar used his engage. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And we have Ocean Dragon. So now this is where I do a bunch of damage to this thing. Oh, my God. Like, the amount of damage I do to, do to towers with Mastermind is crazy. Boom, baby. Get that extra gold as well. We, I want to rotate down and help our team here, but they're probably dead. I'm on my way. Oh, no. Yasuo, are you okay, buddy? I guess I'm probably going to lose my tower. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Don't be afraid. This is actually bad, bro, because now we're down here. Okay, we're just going to siege you. Like, I don't know how I just lo lost my entire HP, though. Dude, Mastermind is no joke, guys. No freaking joke. Alright. Let's get this freaking objective, man. Okay, we do not all want to be grouped up like that, but this guy is so dead. Dude, I can never get the kills. Can never get the kills. Corky's still up there trying to take that tower. Alright, we can just do it. Like, literally, we just blow up turrets so hard. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Alright, I'm backing off. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. I want to reset. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Boom. Okay, we're in a fantastic spot. I mean, their ADC is so behind. <laughs> Zero and five. Not good. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm going for my third damage item, which is Infinity Edge. And after that, I'm basically... Like, it's game over. It's already game over. We have a pretty good dragon. Oh. Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Okay. Well, I don't think we should be... Why would we be retreating right now? I mean, you're going to stay in this pit and you're going to take the damage. Nice. Got the beautiful stasis off. Oh, yeah. Oh, I... I mean, I just played around with them right there, guys. Like... Oh my god. Let's just clear this. Bada bing, bada boom. Lulu, Lulu, you can't be pushing this, my friend. Wait, is, is this guy really that fast? Aww. You're dead. You're super dead. Oh, wow. Oh my god, they just surrendered off this. Wait, how did Orianna get that quadra kill? What happened? Dude, I mean, that was a super phenomenal game. I didn't even get to get to full build, man. But let's let's actually check out the damage off, off this game. Because I'm actually curious how much damage I did compared to everyone else. I did 16k, so that was the most in the game. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Wild Drift content just like this. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.